Good morning, you amazing people of Farmington High School. Today is Friday, May 3rd, and you are watching The Early Bird. I'm Garrett Wilson. And I'm Josh Cartwright. Be sure to observe the beauty of the night skies, because today is National Space Day. Today for lunch, we'll be enjoying hoagie sandwiches and grilled chicken sandwiches. You can also get yourself to iced coffee at breakfast or lunch. There will be an ACT prep camp this summer. It will occur in four and a half day sessions. If you are interested, fill out the registration form seen at the bottom of the screen. And you can always get more information from Mr. Williams. It's still not too late to vote for your class representatives for the class of 2020. If you'd like to participate in the voting process, you can join the Google Classroom with the code shown below. You better hurry though, voting is today at 3 p.m. The U of A is hosting a summer job for those interested in agriculture. You can get more information in the Counseling Center. If you are interested in playing golf for the 2019 and 2020 school year, pick up the information sheet from the main office. Be sure to hurry, however. Today is the last day to turn those forms in. Auditions for the Crimson Select Ensemble are on Tuesday, May 14th and May 15th in the Senior High Choir Room. If you have questions, see Ms. Jackson. If you are currently a sophomore or junior and are interested in running for student council, see Mr. Smith by May 8th. The Spring Choir Concert will be at the PAC on Monday, May 6th at 7 p.m. for free. It will feature performers from the Senior High Choir and the Crimson Select Ensemble. Finally, here's a quote to think about. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Jackson Brown. Thank you, Farmington. And now for time for our one and only, very epic and cool meteorologist, Reed Petrie. Reed, take it away. I am Reed Petrie, and it's been a while. I've been forced to observe and predict the weather alone for a while, but now I get to share it with you guys. Without further ado, here's your weekend weather. This past week has been crazy weather-wise. We've had crazy thunderstorms, flash flood warnings, and even a couple of tornado warnings. As you can see, it's been extremely rainy. This weekend won't be as crazy, though. It'll be stormy for much of the day today, but the rain should be all cleared out by Saturday morning. Today and tomorrow have highs of about 70 and lows of about 50. Sunday will get warmer with a high of 77 and a low of 58. Next week should be much sunnier than this one has been. Hawaii is famous for being a haven for volcanoes. This viral clip of the week, courtesy of Viral Hawk, occurred during a tour on the big island of Hawaii. Watch as this beautiful substance flows. I wouldn't recommend getting any closer as lava is typically between 1,000 and 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. While lava is famous for being a slow and seemingly non-threatening substance, top speeds of 40 miles an hour have been recorded at Mount Niragongo a volcano in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Its lava lake in the center of the mountain has historically been one of the highest in volume, and that staggering speed was recorded on January 10, 1977, when the walls fractured and lava drained out quickly. In just 30 minutes, a height of almost 11,000 feet of lava emptied out of the lake, flooding the nearby villages. The power of this molten substance has always left me in awe. Anyway, there was your weekend weather and minor history lesson. I'll hopefully see you next week, but now it's time for Card Center with your host, Brody Hill. Smart sound. Hi, I'm Brody Hill. This is Card Center without Dallas Walker. We wish him luck as he graduates and moves on to college. However, we do have some developing stories in the sports world. First, let's take a look at Cardinal basketball player Jaden Whitmore getting signed at Central Baptist University. We also asked him a couple questions. Let's take a look at that. Uh, it just feels it feels good. I'm glad I'm getting to play and continue on basketball at the next level. Well, I had uh, a few more. I think I had like four or something, but they are the closest, and I have some family down there too. And the coaches seem most interested. So, well, talking from the coach, I have to earn my way. But I think I'm. I played against the team and all that already, so I think I'd be all right. Your Farmington Cardinal baseball and softball teams are competing in the 4A regional tournament today and tomorrow, weather permitting. Now, let's take a look at a new ride your Farmington Cardinal football team received with a little help from William Stractor. Hi, I'm Brody Hill with Farm Card Sports, and I'm here with school board president, Mr. Oxford. Can you guys just tell us a little bit about your new toy we got here? Well, what, what we did is, is, of course, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got the players that work at Williams Tractor. Williams Tractor is a huge supporter of Farmington Cardinal Athletics. So what we've got here is we've got a Farmington Cardinal decked out Ranger, a 1000 Crew Cab Ranger, been wrapped, says Farmington Cardinals on it, got the Cardinal helmet on top, got little logos up here on the front, 
And uh, with the new stadium opening up, we thought this would be, be the right thing to do to, to break in the new stadium. Now, Mr. Oxford, I got to ask you, how's it, how's it going to feel to have this, this new toy we got here right around the new stadium next year? Oh, it's going to be awesome. I mean, you know, that's going to be a state-of-the-art deal. I mean, it matches everything else at the new high school with the, with, with the new high school, the Performing Arts Center, the new gym, uh, the football field, the track, you know, and, and along with the, the soccer field. Um, it's Everything over there is first class. I think you'll be hard-pressed to go anywhere else in the state to find the facilities that, that we are providing for our youth here in Farmington. And I'm Brody Hill, and this was Card Center, and you guys have a wonderful weekend.